was a woman called al Mashit al Faraon. The hairdress the Pharaoh's daughter was how she was known. She had embraced and graced Islam secretly because she saw the leader as a tyrant who saw himself as a praised lord increasingly. He placed Torsha exceedingly and his people faces repeatedly because seemingly he thought they would become dethroned. One day she was cutting the hair of the Pharaoh's daughter using her skills and their comb and she became distracted with the five kids of her own and that same comb it fell out of her fingers and on the floor and accidentally she said Bismillah in a less audible tone. In the name of Allah came out her lips and the comb flipped and slipped on the floor in front of the daughter of the Pharaoh. What do you mean in the name of Allah? You mean my father? She stated in shock and bemoan. No, Mashta stated, Allah is the Lord of your father and you. She persuaded so elated that the princess felt anger and hatred. She left towards the palaces and home. And she complained to her merciless father with disapproval. She thinks there's another God apart from you. What is her refusal? The hairdresser and her family were summoned in presence of the Pharaoh's approval. Don't worry, I'll make sure that after I have dealt with her, her thought patterns will remain neutral. As he gave his orders from his gold enchanted throne. And Mashda stood in front of her oppressors, a woman so brave and the pharaoh asked her, O oh slave, who is Allah? Without delay, her heart removed any doubt and her iman was conveyed as she spoke clearly from her mouth as she started to say, Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk. Allah is my Lord and your Lord was the affirmative she gave. And the pharaoh became infuriated, furious with raving and initiated as she is tortured in the most discriminative of ways that he could possibly condone. And she was stripped, whipped with heavy chains and blood dripped and slipped from her bloody veins. Who is your Lord? Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk. Her faith had her equipped for what she worshipped. Nothing could break her, not even the king of Egypt and everything he owned and contained. And the Pharaoh couldn't stand that this woman was being disloyal and he ordered his advisors to bring a cauldron of hot burning oil and it turned red. Burning hot it started to bubble and boil as golden molten heat intertwined and trouble started to coil. And she could feel the steam scheme as it was primed to crumble her belief and toil with a mind that she saw the Pharaoh as a lord alone. Who is your lord? The Pharaoh in rage and cried, Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk was her same reply and one of her children was gripped and lifted high and dropped in that heaving cold in front of her eyes. His flesh slits and to blitz, he screams in front of his mother as he's dipped and fried. The pain penetrates and disintegrates his skin, his bones from his head to his hips and that child dies. The Pharaoh looks at Mashta in hope that she would give in and comply and what was her reply as her son was dropped in and thrown. Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk The Pharaoh can't believe that she still denies and her second child is lifted, dropped again in front of her eyes. She remains in amazement, still courageous and patient as she's witnessed the second child die as in the fiery pit he's flung into and flown. Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk is what she still replies and then the third child falls into demise. Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk is what she still defies. And the fourth child is taken toward the cauldron with thrusting again, he withers and combusts and to find dust made out of skin, ash, hair and bone. And the last of her offspring was a small child, just maybe a babe of one or more. And they're about to throw the innocent in lava, helpless she simply can't ignore. Her heart drops, her world stops as a helpless tear falls on the blooded floor. And the pharaoh's treacheries mixes with her memories of how sweet life was before. But now her desires have opened her up and now the pharaoh sensed weakness was now prone. And a surrender formed shape on the tip of her tongue. Everything she had had been ripped up and flung. She she says to herself, now I'm done, I've lost everything I've had, I simply can't lose my last young, as she's about to bow down to the Pharaoh. And suddenly to everyone's surprise, the Lord of the seven heavens and skies makes that same young child speak and he replies, Isbiri ya ummi, Isbiri ya ummi. Have patience, O mother, have patience, O mother, verily you are on the truth. Allah had promised you with the gardens of paradise. Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk. And the Pharaoh went hysterical and he witnessed this miracle and he threw the last born and it too had died. This is what Mashita cried. O oh slave, why do you cry? I cry because I feel you deny my last request. 
and the Pharaoh replied, I am the Pharaoh, nothing I cannot do. He proudly stressed, after you burnt me and my family, I want you to gather whatever remains of us thankfully and bury us in one grave, she expressed. So as the bodies rest mutilated and we spread it collective And the trumpet is blown and we are resurrected So when I enter Jannah To my Lord I'm ascended I want to enter with my family together so splendid This is all I ask for Now take my life you think you own And the Fir'aun smirks So now tell me Who is your Lord? Allah Rabbi wa Rabbuk Was the last words Before in the cauldron She's thrown.